So if this is your first time on our channel, welcome on board guys! My name is Justina and this is my beautiful girlfriend Misha and together we're beer for breakfast. So right now it's Songkran, we're Bangkok in Thailand, it's 2018 and we're ready to hit the road Woo! with a lot of water, the guns, alcohol and whatnot, guys. And apparently guys in 2011 it was voted as the largest water festival in the entire world and it broke all records. People in Thailand set a new Guinness World Record for the largest water pistol fight in Bangkok on Wednesday. More than 3,000 people participated in a 10-minute shootout to celebrate Thailand's New Year's Songkran Water Festival. Participants armed with colorful water pistols met outside one of Bangkok's biggest shopping malls to participate. As the event kicked off, they took aim with their water weapon of choice and started drenching each other in a 33-square-foot space. So, let's really hope that it's going to be as big as 2011. Uh -huh. It's super hot, guys. Now, just a little history of what actually Songkran means mm. and why is it being celebrated? Oh, you want me to answer the question? Yes, please. Okay, so historian Misha will tell you that Songkran is actually the Thai New Year. So that's what everyone is here celebrating. The beginning, the of, beginning the of the Thai New Year. Now, everyone uses water because that's about cleansing the kind of the bad luck and the, what's the, the word? The sins. The sins of the previous the year mm -hmm. so that you can start anew today. So basically everyone's throwing water over each other to get rid of all of the sins of last year. And it's also for good health and yeah. good fortune. So it's just a really nice tradition for like Thai families in general yeah. too. And obviously now so many foreign tourists come to Thailand, especially to Bangkok, especially to Koh Sun Road to celebrate with the entire world. <laughs> so it's slightly going to be difficult because we can't take this camera out, but we will take our GoPro. Uh, the sound quality isn't that great, so I'm just going to put a massive montage together and then when we get back we'll kind of debrief what has happened in between. But we're just going to go outside now. We've got our friends waiting outside, Koshan Uncharted, Chris and Cody. They're from the YouTube community. We're mm -hmm. going to spend an entire day with them. It's going to be super fun and we cannot wait to go out there. So yeah guys, let's go get our guns some goggles on, okay, and let's start this water fight. <laughs> Songkran guys, it was absolutely insane. I cannot even describe how much carnage there was over the last three days. This is our first Songkran experience, so it's unfortunate that we didn't get to obviously talk to you guys throughout the Songkran day, but uh, yeah, we really hope but that you enjoyed the montage that I was able to retrieve from my hero 
3 plus that I bought five years wow, ago. Wow, it's so old it's now, isn't so it? It's so ancient, yeah. yeah. So um, I hope I did Songkran a little bit of justice, um, but if not, honestly, everyone needs to come to Songkran at least once in their life. It's such a magical experience. Um, how, how did you feel being there? Uh, what, what's the kind of feelings you got from Songkran? I felt really free. Because I love water, guys, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm like such a water baby. So anything to do with water, um, yeah. I'm always here for you guys. So it's, it's true. It it's was true. really fun. Yeah. Like it's, it's so good that we had those massive guns to show our people ourselves. Yeah. Because they were like, they were crazy. They, they, they weren't feeling sorry for us. Everyone like shoots on like your body or your like your forehead directly your, into the eyes into the eyes into your mouth <laughs> like, People were savage people were abs You you were savage I Alan was Sondra. savage yeah, Absolutely and, and people were savage too so I mean it's all fun It's yeah. re it's really 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 good guys and obviously it's it's uh, the beginning of Thai New Year like we mentioned before so Yes, yeah, so we're, it's a we're big celebration now. The amount of the amount of times I got wet, like literally soaked through to the bones, I'm as pure as anything. Like yes. my sins have been removed one thousand times over. <laughs> so after we experienced the sun cran, we gathered some thoughts on maybe to help you for your first sun cran and yeah. maybe the things that you should consider when going to sun cran. So number one maybe earplugs if you're a bit sensitive in your ears just make sure to bring some earplugs obviously you won't hear like the sound and the noises so much but if you have like uh, a tendency for like ear infections make sure yeah. to bring some earplugs because the water does go into your ear yeah people will actually shoot into your ear on purpose so yeah and obviously you know. the water is not the cleanest so yeah so yeah just just be careful guys and uh, you can always buy those earplugs at 7-eleven we got them for like 15 baht which yeah. is like nothing, nothing so I know really good so and, um, get those just in case yeah so number two definitely bring some like goggles or some glasses you can actually buy them everywhere around the Songkran area for like 20 baht yeah. which again is very cheap and again people will shoot you directly in the eye it's very painful and I don't know like I, I even hate being underwater when I'm in a swimming pool so to have water in my eye it actually really hurts so you're just like this for ages and <laughs> then you can't see anything you feel very disorientated so I was wearing my glasses pretty much the whole time yeah. I was able to enjoy myself knowing that I had some cover for my eyes and so, again um, those were just about 20 baht yeah they're sold everywhere around Sankran areas coast and road yeah. everywhere whatever you want to buy them they're not guys. very fashionable they're, they're literally look like Robocop um, but that's but, what makes it more fun yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's not about fashion guys believe me it's not about fashion yeah um, number three the best thing that you need or require for the day is actually a gun like you need to have a water gun we bought ours for 300 baht each they were the huge ones and it had a lot of power on them so I mean you can buy the smaller ones but it's way more fun oh, to have yes. the larger gun if you're a Sankran guys yeah. just go all out you know like don't bother about small guns because it's not <laughs> gonna reach people yeah yeah definitely get a big gun um, and also it will last longer because if you do run out of water then they will charge you between 10 to 20 baht for a refill every single time down Kosan Road. You can get it a bit cheaper if you're kind of out of that area. Yeah, which you can we get it doing. for five, but, but you're once not... you're in the main area, it's definitely yeah. 10 and above. So, what else would you say people need for Songkran? Yeah, don't shoot into drivers, guys, because it's pretty dangerous. Just throughout this Songkran, 95 people actually died. It, it... That was on the first day, I think, as well. The figure might be even bigger I by think, this day. I think it so. was, yeah. So people are actually shooting drivers in the face. Um, all in good fun. But then, again, like I was saying, water goes in the eyes. And then you lose, lose the control, control. And actually people have died from that. So it's insane. But So you know. shoot only into passengers, especially when you're like on tuk-tuks. <laughs> it's also very fun. But like, yeah, not, be the care, drivers. not the drivers, not guys. The drivers. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. And uh, what else, what else? Just have fun. Just, just have fun, be just a kid. Just drink, have fun. Yeah. And just enjoy everyone's company. And yeah. it's going to be one of the best trips, one of the best experiences of your life. To be 29 and to feel like a six year old is amazing. So I'm really happy to have come here. It's been a, definitely a big tick off the bucket list. 
and yeah it's been it's been a great experience and would you say you've been yeah yourself yeah well? i really have yes yeah. so so much fun once again we had an amazing company um also, we're gonna leave a uh, Koshan Uncharted uh, YouTube link down below in the description, guys. Make sure to check them out because they yeah. actually uploaded quite a few videos from Songkran, even on the day of live Songkran. Video content, live video content, they were on it. So check them out, guys, and it's great, it's great. But for now, guys, we're gonna end it here. We really hope you enjoyed our Sankran experience. Yeah. I'm sorry that it was only filmed on uh, GoPro footage. We promise you, next time we come here, we'll, <laughs> we'll have a better camera equipment. Our next trip, guys, is Colanta. We're actually leaving tonight. Now, we're not gonna tell you too much of a detail how we're getting there, as this will be on our next video, but make sure you come back for that video because it's gonna be super exciting as we're gonna be trying traveling again over land and over ferries and it's just gonna be all fun and games guys so <laughs> yeah make sure to come back for that video where we travel from Bangkok to Koh Lanta mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom.